Carl from Carl's Crafts. Welcome back if you've been before. Hi, if this is your first time. Um, this is my whip and chat of the week. I tell you what's been going on in the Withington household. I have my can. Oh, that's a bit hot. <laughs> I have my candle lit for anybody that needs prayers, thoughts, or positivity. And I'm going to move it out of the way, folks. So the simple reason is I keep setting things on fire. So we're going to move it over there. Just put it where it's nice and safe. But we know that it's lit for anybody that might need it. Oh, so how's everybody else's week gone? Hey, I've got my cup of coffee. I need it. Oh. I was going to ask him for a cup of coffee, but I thought if I don't do this now, I won't get it done. So, where's my... Ah, oh, there it is, my new pen. And this is my pen with the brass ends from Diamond Painting Pen Shed, I think. I think that's what they're called. But I like that pen, so I'm going to be using that. I've got my box of my doodars. I've got some trays galore. So we'll take some of this up. Like that. We'll move the old doodars down. Like that. Not very even, but it doesn't matter, does it? You're not getting my head in the shot, are you? I hope not. Where's the... No, I shouldn't do. Right. Let's help us put the light pad on. One, two, three. Right, what colour should we start off with, folks? Should we do these little ready things? And I'm molten. I've had a shower, wash my hair and everything, and I'm molten like mad now. As you get older, the air seems to fall out left, right and centre. Let me use my blue tray. I'm using a blue tray for ages. That's good, isn't it? There we go. Jessie was using this one. There we go. So this is my Treasure Studio Arts. This is Dragon Sword that I have been doing for, yeah, that amount of time. <laughs> But we're getting, we're on the last bit now. So I've got till the 1st of March to finish it. So I was going to work on it in the week. Um, and then something cropped up and I couldn't. So Jessie did, Jessie did this little bit here for me. She did that little bit for me, bless her. She had a little go. She wanted to have a little go on this one. She didn't want to do hers, she just wanted to do this one because it was out. I said, yep, that's fine. Sometimes you do, don't you, want to change from what you're doing. So I said, yep, just sit there opposite me. I can't remember what I was doing, I think I was cross-stitching. Something like that. I'm not so good at multi-placing squares. Um, I don't know if anybody else finds it more difficult to multi-place squares. Circles, I'm all right. Get in. Threes and fours with circles now. Yep, pretty much mastered that. Yeah, and I am going to sing my own trumpet there. <laughs> it's taken me so long to get that far with the, with the rounds. But I'm going to keep trying with me. Me squares as well. As Mrs. C keeps telling me, practice, practice, practice. So we must practice as we'll never get any better. So what's been happening? Right, start last Sunday. Yeah, last Sunday we went to Hereford. We did our round trip where I don't get out the car trip. We wanted um because do you remember I said the Kansas can Kanzan, is that how you say it? Kanzan cherry, Japanese cherry tree came. We didn't have a pot because the pot we did have, we plant, planted the other cherry tree that came in it. So Grant was going to pick one up Friday, but things happened that we just couldn't. So Sunday we decided we'd go and get um, Terry Potter pot. And uh, oh, did we go Saturday? I don't think we went Saturday. Have I told you the story? See, I don't know whether I've told you the story or not now. But you're going to have the story again anyway. 
So we went to the, we used to be Y Vale, now it is Blue Diamond, I think it's called. I never heard of them before, but apparently they've got chains everywhere. Um, took the dog, Lily, for a run. So, oh, so tell her I did get out there to have a look at the, the pots. So I said, I don't want to pay the earth, but I want it to be pretty much frost proof. I don't want it shattering. Um, so I said about 40, 50 quid. That was the most I wanted to pay. So we found a really nice one, which if you're on Patreon, you would have seen, because I posted a picture, a bit of a video clip of Lily sitting in the plant pot in the, in the garden centre. So they got all to see what it was we bought and what it was like when it was planted so we managed to get that and i think it was just under 50 quid it's a nice one as well so we got that then we went and called in costas and got a takeaway coffee called past there and ordered a takeaway coffee then Oh, that was it and I said because it was only about 11 o'clock I said why don't we go past KFC get a bargain bucket uh, not bargain bucket what's it called boneless bucket Can spread sorry folks go on boneless bucket with some gravy because it comes with dips and things and then a four piece chicken thing and that would be enough for five of us so I got that, we come home, by the time we got home it was like nearly half past twelve. So I put the chips on a tray in the oven to warm through and the chicken in, on a tray to warm through. So when they warmed we had that, well everybody absolutely loved it. I mean it was really nice actually because we all sat around the table, even Josh chatting and eating it. So it was really, really nice. It's not something we've done before done anything like that brought something like that home but it was nice I know it's like an hour or ten minutes there and an hour or ten minutes back plus what you're doing and as I say we just ordered you know like a drive-through but it just gets you out the house to it you see the same four walls all the time and I just like to and it's nice because you, you spend quality time together and the dog absolutely loves sitting on my knee looking out the window She thinks she's the bee's knees. She does. Looking at all the different people that go past and in their cars or when we're in the villages. She's nosing. I've got, I have the window down when we go through the villages because you have to slow right down. So she can have a nose at everything. She pretty much knows when a village is coming up because she'll put a paw on top of the window switch to try and get the window down ready. She's quite funny, she is. So that was Sunday, Monday, Saturday. I don't know. Do you find that being at home and homeschooling, all the days seem to just blend into one? I get so confused. And of course, Grant's had a couple of days off this week as well. So I'm all confused with me days. Our house is quiet today. Josh has gone off to Hull, which is about five hours away. So I'm hoping he's going to text me soon to say he's got there. Um, we've got to go and then he's going to come back tomorrow he's had to go and sign some papers for the house house share that he'll be in for next year which I think is September isn't it but they've got to go and sign it to secure it and of course you've got to sign it in person so he's had to go up there and sort that out so I don't like him driving that far. I know he's he's more than capable. But it's not him I worry about. It's the other loonies on the on the roads. Because he is a pretty safe driver, to be fair. And he's very observant. I need some more wax. But I won't rest until I know that he's there safe. I won't. You still worry about them no matter what their age is. 
now he's in a car it's like oh Look at that. Cards are coming up and down, up and down like crazy today. Yeah, so he's gone off. Jess has gone to meet a friend, social distance walk or something. I don't know. I said, oh, okay. So she's gone out, even though it's absolutely chucking it down with rain. It is torrential, torrential rain. And it's quite windy as well, with it? on and off it's one of those days you know when the wind picks up then drops then picks up and drops and picks up that's what it's like all day today so they either come or go you know yeah i had high temps at the beginning of the week i don't know what the hell was wrong with me i don't know whether i caught a bit of a chill or something but um sunday night and monday night I could not get warm at all. Well, Sunday, Monday, Monday night, all day, Mon Sunday night, all day Monday, and Monday night. I had t-shirts, jumpers, and cardies on, and blanket round me, and I still couldn't get warm. And then woke up Tuesday, and the temperature had gone. So I don't know what the hell that was all about. But I have had earache on and off, so I don't know whether that's got something to do with it as well. I do get an earache. Mind you, in the night with the dog and stuff, and it has been so cold, hasn't it? And I never think of covering my ears up when I'm out and about. And I don't wear hats very often. My jacket hat's a waste of time because one blow of puff of wind and it's off like doesn't stay down and hasn't got a string on it to pull it in tight yeah grant had Friday and friday off well i thought he was only having friday off because we remember i said you've got some oak flooring to go in the hallway because that flooring was minging when we moved in like what to jesse 14 years ago we just haven't had the money to to get it the amount we needed but um grant managed to get some so you know nice surprise you had thursday and friday off so oh my god was we glad we did it because um i don't know if i've told you but my one cat the old one she was 10 on tuesday ellie the one we call fatty mcgee is very lazy um, I did panic when it first happened and I got in contact with the vet and his vet said, you know, looked her over, nothing. It is lazy now. She's got nothing wrong with her. Because um, she will be either at the front door, under my table that I'm at now, or in the bathroom upstairs if it's raining. So she won't ask to go out in the night if it's raining or in the day. She'll try and think. And I put puppy pads down so I did it first say first of all I contacted the vet because I thought she got an infection and stuff like that she was testing nothing wrong with her whatsoever and she said if they got anything like that she said they tend to wee anywhere because they can't control it but she is literally walking past the door that goes out to wee somewhere else so like she said it is but she didn't want to go out She's old and she don't want to go out. Well, when we took this laminated floor, like I bleached the floor every time she'd have an accident and I put these puppy down, pads down, which aren't the best thing because they still seeps through it slightly, but I'd always bleach the floors and, you know, bleach all around it, dry it off and all that malarkey. But it must have seeped underneath because when we lifted the laminate, oh my God, it's spunk. So I'm thinking people must have come in my house the last couple of months and thought, what the hell is that awful smell? Well, my dad. We haven't had anybody else in. So the cat's been warned. Not that she will listen. She better not pee on my new laminated. So it's had all new linings and stuff like that put on it. But 
When we did pull it up, I've never seen anything like it before. Grant says, come and have a look at this. So I went, he said, have a look at the front door. So I went to the front door. I said, it's a mat. What the hell have they got a mat under the lining for? Doormat. And he said, no, look again. He said, yes, it's a doormat. But it was actually sunk into the floor. So when they built the house, they must have cut out a wedge, the depth of this mat, and put... Um, buried this mat well not buried but, but sunk this mat into it but it's not like a normal doormat it's got like wire bits going through it and it's stuck to the floor so you couldn't bring it up and clean it I mean I like the idea of it actually because you know I can't put a doormat by my front door before I change the floor in um because it wasn't enough gap but um so we've had to leave it there, otherwise we'd have to fill it in. So we've left it there because it was already covered over. But I thought, well, it's quite a good idea if they had, um, what's the word? If they had a decent mat that you could pull out and wash. Because I like to have doormats that you can wash. So we haven't got a doormat there now. But this laminate that we've put down now is like double the thickness of what we had down before it was really thin and nasty when we got it up and really looked at it no wonder stuff seeped to it it was really thin and tacky and that's all oh, why didn't we change it you know a long time ago and I said because we didn't have the money back then to do it I said take it till now to save up to get the money to do it as it is so we think we might just have enough to do um Uh, Millie she shed out back not that she's worried when it's done because she doesn't mind it as it is but I said if we've got enough left over and then Jessie wants her bedroom because she's never had a new carpet in there and the carpet that was in there when we moved in was it was horrible but we haven't been able to afford to buy a carpet for up there so we said she said she wants wood so Grant said what we'll do is we'll buy a pack of wood every now and again and then when we've got enough we'll lay it. Because if you've got to fork out for the wood all in one go it's a hell of a lot but if we just get a pack I think it's about with Grant's discount from work I think it's about 68-70 pound a pack and we probably need probably five packs or more for her bedroom maybe more actually. So, yeah, so he spent Thursday doing that, bless him, and he's done a grand job, new beading around the edges, but it feels so nice underfoot, so, so nice, but one of the pieces of wood have got this, like, um, knot in it, and um, when you first look at it, you think it's a leaf or something, so you go to move it with, <laughs> with your foot, then you realise it's in the wood. <laughs> So he said, oh, I wish I'd have noticed that. I'd have changed it. I said, oh, it's a talking point. Leave it be. And then my dad came in. And the first thing he did with his socks, with his feet, like, not his socks, his foot, was rub it to see if it would move. <laughs> I did chuckle when I told him. He said, oh, I did think it was a leaf. No, nope, it's the pattern. Grant said, oh, shall I pull it up? I said, no, you're not pulling it up. He said, you might do more damage than good. I said, So yeah, so we did all that and it is nice. Nice oak floor. And if you're a Patreon again, they've all seen the oak floor as well. Well, as it was going down. Because I posted a little video of Bounty Boy doing that. And what the girls were doing. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's where you have inside videos and messages and stuff and interaction with me, my family my channel for a monthly fee and there's different tiers and you get different things and sometimes they'll send out stuff and it's a way of supporting the channel so but I use any money that is don't you know from the monthly fees go straight back in the channel and then I can bring and show you more things and review more things hopefully so Thank you to all my Patreons as well, because without you, I wouldn't be able to get some of the stuff that I get. 
yeah so they got to see my floor in as well Lily absolutely loves it she's still skid up and down it you can see she was a bit uh, thin when we first threw a ball down it and then when she realized she can still slide to the front door she was happy as Larry I think if anything she slides a bit not quite as fast as she did on the other one it's not quite as slippy but she still slides I'm just the message to a groomer to see if she can when can she fit her in when she starts again because I know she's finished her outside room because she's doing a another building because she wasn't allowed with the lockdown because the grooming was inside her home but now her dad built a um, outdoor building for grooming so it's all separated and then she's got a cage where you can go um, if your dog runs off then you can she you put the dog in the cage you get get back in the car she'll come and get it and blah 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 but if it's like Lily won't go in a cage for save money Sammy just opens the gate I let Lou, Lily go and she just goes fly into Sammy and then when she lets her go she does the same so right she said she's gonna let me know when she can fit her in because poor old Lily's fur is so long bless her so so long <laughs> curly she has definitely got the toy poodle curd curls she has she's not too well today either i don't know what's on there but she hasn't had her chicken today which is she had a little tiny bit that i fed her by hand but she's left the rest which is unlike her but i could hear her tummy grumbling so i said to grant maybe it's just playing up today she's had a little play and then i when i went upstairs to get some washing she brings the ball up and then I throw it down the stairs. I sit on the top stair step and throw it down down the stairs for a, for a few times. So she did that a couple of times and then was knackered. So she's cutched up with her dad now on the settee. He said he's just going to go on his phone, but he'll probably fall asleep if he gets comfy. So that's that. Oh, guess what I got to do this week. Which I've not done before. I got on to Mrs. C's Etsy shop. Did anybody else manage to get anything from there? Weren't a bloody lot left when I got on there, <laughs> to be fair. You buggers in America were quick off the mark. I was a bit slow here in Wales, but I did manage to get myself um, a pop socket and one of those, I don't know what you call them, um, what they called. Let me click on it. I got the Lights Wooden Stars one. Oh no, she ain't got any there, so I don't know what it's called. Is it a cup? Beaker? I don't know what they're called. Cup beaker? Something like that, isn't it? You know, the tall ones with the things. Yeah, I got one of those. So I was dead chuffed at that, because the last time she put everything up, I missed out completely. So as soon as I woke up and saw this, I thought, right, get in there, get it ordered. So I'm looking forward to receiving that. And to, I was really pleased that I can support her as much as she supported me. So I was glad that I could do that bit. So it was nice to be able to have done that. I'm looking forward to that. I've also bought myself um, vanilla scented candle as well in a tin. Because um, you know my nice one. I've got a little bit left, I think, which I'll use tomorrow on my live. I've got this one I've got burning now from Aldi's. And then I thought I'd get that one, which should have been delivered on the, between the 17th and the 18th. But I still haven't received it. So I've measured the seller to let them know so Grant very kindly has ordered two small tins from Quiet River where I got my big one got the big one from so he's ordered me a nice lavender one and with something lavender vanilla and something and then lemongrass one so they'll come next week sometime because you know me I love my candles and I love nice my candles for all you folk out there that might need it so I, I didn't want to run out
Yeah, what else did I do? Ah, oh, I'll show you what I've got for the mermaid along. Can you see them? So they're my male and female skeleton mermaids. So I've got that pattern. And then a lot of us are doing this pattern from Etsy, which was only, I think the skeleton ones were four pounds something for the two. And I think the fairy one, not fairy, mermaid. Do, 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 where are you? She's usually on offer at the weekend. And I think when I got it, it was £4.47. It's usually about £7 something. And I think at the weekends, it's been going down on a Sunday to about five or six pounds. So most of us have, have ordered this one. And I've got the fabric, fabric, thread, and the thread for these two this week. And then I did buy this one. Right. See this? And it's a little dragon, water dragon. You see him sleeping in a shell? And you say, how is that? There's no mermaid. But look very, very closely, right? If you have a look behind this shell here, sleeping right down behind there is a little mermaid. Can you see her? You, you just peek your boo around the corner and you'll see a little mermaid sleeping with a dragon. And the dragon's keeping watch to make sure nothing happens to the mermaid. <laughs> see, I made the picture fit. And this is what you can all do for this mermaid along. Ones that haven't heard, I'm doing a mermaid along from the 1st of March to the 31st of August. And you literally can do any craft. And when I mean any craft, I mean any craft. You can do resin, pottery, crocheting, knitting, diamond painting, colouring, sewing. Um, what else is there? What did Millie say? Drawing. You can even draw a stick mermaid if you want to. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to cost you anything. Have a look in the cupboard, see what you've got. Everybody's got a piece of paper and a pencil. And it doesn't matter if you can draw or not draw. Anybody can draw a bit of a sh shape with a tail on the end. So there's an entry form on the Anything Mermaid Along video which I, at the moment I'm just putting an I up on the videos, which will take you to it. There's an entry form on that. You have to fill in the entry form to qualify because there's a little prize at the end of it. And I've got how many? 18 people entered so far on my entry form. And then I've also opened a Facebook group called Mermaid Crafts. Now, if I have not invited you and you want to join, Please, please just tag on that and we'll accept you. Because I couldn't remember everybody. I have tried, but you know me. I have a memory of a goldfish. And I think, well, just before I come on, I had a look and there was 89 members. So if half of them join in, I will be chuffed to bits. Um, so we're going to use the mermaid, and it's called Mermaid Crafts. And we're going to use that on Facebook where everybody can post their pictures. Because I didn't realise on the entry form you can't post pictures on there. I know I say on the, I'll say on the, the video, but you can't. So I said, um, Lisa, Lisa Bradley, so why don't you open a Facebook group? So she very kindly set it up for me because I haven't got a bloody clue. So we're going to use that on there for everybody to show their pictures, what they're working on. And then I will, I've got a book, I'll show you now, which I've started, which I've got the 18 people in here that's, so I've got everybody's names, emails, addresses, I won't stay on it, but they're in there, they're in there, love. Um, and what I know, the picture that they showed me of what they're doing, and I've ticked that off on there, so yeah. You've got to fill in the entry form and I've got to see a picture of your start project. So if you do more than one project, well, more than one craft, because you get an entry per craft, not per, um, like if you did two diamond paintings, you would only get one entry. But if you did a diamond painting, a colouring page, um, crocheted something, that would be three entries because it's three different crafts. so yeah but i think it's going to be fun 
as I say, 89 members, and even if, well, it doesn't have to be half of them don't have to join in, even if a quarter of them join in, it's going to be fun. Or if it's just the 18 that put the names down on the entry form, we will still have fun. I think it's just going to be fun, because you know me, I'm so nosy, I love to see what everybody's doing. I'm not nosy, I'm inquisitive, that's why it's our grant, I'm not nosy, I'm inquisitive. I love, to, love watching and looking at what everybody's doing. I just think it's lovely to see all the different things that people have picked to do the... Because all I've said is a mermaid, something to do with a mermaid. You know, that's all I've said. And some of the entries already are, love, are really, really nice. I've got um, Diamond Art Club Gemini Twin Mermaids diamond painting as well that's the one i want to start which i will kit up after this one um because i'm going to be doing that one for the mermaid one i'm going to do my spaniel spring spring of spaniel um bubblegum sp spaniel for i'm going to kit that up as well ready for the 20th of march for spring fling which is run by diamond painting fanatic so that one I'm going to kit up as well. So they're the two that I'm going to be working on um, for it all. But I can't wait to start the twins, I've got to admit, because I've wanted that one, I think, from the first time that I saw, saw a Diamond Art Club um, website when I first started. So it's been a long time waiting for it, but yeah, I'm chuffed to bits that I've now got it. I've got some Harbour Freights behind me, ready. Jessie's lent me one, so I've got three behind, two for the twins and one for the Spaniel. She said I can have her one for now. So I said thank you very much. And if she wants to do any, she said, and she doesn't want to get hers out, she's going to have a go on mine. And I said that's fine. More help, better. I said you can never have enough help with diamond paintings and her and Millie have started they want to have a go on the sew machine so um, they cut out I mean, Jessie wanted to make I'll show you Jessie's but she'll probably show you tomorrow but I'll show you Jessie's because she's finished it and she's not here she's, I'm dead proud of her never used a sew machine and it's a winky wonky sew machine but yeah, look what she made. She wanted a little bag, little pouch to put her lip balms in. So she chose the the metal zip. She chose the lovely blue lining. And for a first attempt, she's lined it with the lining. Can you see it's padded? It's padded. She's padded it as well. So she's got actual fleece lining in there. And all I did was talk her through what she had to do. The only thing we didn't do is we didn't sew that down there so the line in there sometimes catches but I said what I'll do is I'll just put a little catch stitch there but yeah isn't that brilliant so she's done that one but by the time we did done that one it was too late for Millie to do hers so Millie's pressed all hers she's going to do a vinyl one so she's pressed all the pieces ready so she might have a go after this, but she's not feeling 100%. She's been feeling a bit poorly the last couple of days. So I said, we'll see how you feel. We're in no rush. We'll do it whenever she wants to do it. So she's she's happy about that. But yeah, but both of them are so proud of them, wanting to have a go. And I said, explain to them, you know, well, this machine isn't like a normal machine. <laughs> you know, it's not all singing, all dancing. It's not even singing or dancing, you know. It does what it wants. But they said, nope, they want to have a go. So I said to them, if you can stitch on this, you'll probably be able to stitch on anything. So yeah, so I was so proud of Jess. She stuck at it. My hair's like molting terrible. Ah. Ew, where's all those tweezy tweezers? Can I pick them up with this tweezers? I don't know if these go together enough. Yeah, so that's that. 
Oh, news on mum. She's got, um, they phoned me, they think she's got um, UT, UTI infection. So the doctors put her on antibiotics and he reduced her psychotic drugs by one. So she's only on one a day because she's really sleepy. Oh gosh, she's so sleepy. And um, they don't know whether it was this drug. And I said um, to be very, very careful with it, taking her off it because... The psychotic episodes she has are horrendous. She thinks she's being raped, she's being attacked, she's being drowned. They're out to kill her. It, it was just beyond. And um, and I don't want her to go through that because she was so scared. And I said to them, I just don't want her to go through it. And they said, no, 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 we'll monitor her. Well, give her a couple of, well, nearly a week, I think. And it made no difference. So the doctors decided to take her off it completely. So I'm on tender hooks now because I'm thinking, oh my god. I mean, she might not. She might be fine because she's in a safe environment there now. I don't know. And they've still got the. They said they're going to keep the crash mats and the pressure mats with the alarms on all in her room. So if she does try and get up in the night and stuff and falls or anything, she'll only fall on the crash mats and the alarms will go off. They don't let her go with the zimmer frame and again it went high in they had a go with the stick she will not she just swings it back and forth so she's up in the main lounge still so they said they're going to just keep her up there because it just says it's easier she's not stressing her out then and then if she wants to go for a walk there's always somebody about up there that can walk around with her so fair play, they keep you updated. We've got meet Zoom meeting tomorrow with them. So discuss all um, for anybody that's got um, it's a big meeting it is, so they can discuss vaccination schemes and when we can go in and all this sort of stuff and what they've been told by the Welsh government is procedures that are going to be put in place and time scale at the moment and stuff like that the dad's gonna come down here tomorrow i think it's happens too i don't know why they've got it on a sunday seems an odd day but maybe they think everybody can probably make it if it's on a sunday when i think about it logically most people might be working so so they do it on a sunday nearly everybody there's not many people that are working on a sunday at the moment with everything on lockdown so we've got that tomorrow. Oh yeah, yesterday Grant took me and Pup Pups up to the Elam Valley for a run. We didn't get out of the car. Well, tell a lie. Technically Grant, I didn't get out of the car. Grant and Pup Pups got out of the car for about five minutes. We went to the old Abba Road, which is a, from Raider. And it's like, takes you out in a, like a big ring road and brings you back in. So you go past all the dams and whatever. Apart from the one. It absolutely persisitated the whole time though. But the dog had her head out the window most of the journey. Um, so we went up round the lakes and then she, the dams I mean. And then they got out once by the river. Grant wanted to take some pictures. <clears throat> so they got out and took some pictures. And nobody about so Lily was off her lead. We went took some pictures of the river and then came back and then we went and looked at the other dams but oh lily is a star honest to god i think she must have been a biker motorbiker in her former life <laughs> i've never noticed it before and why i started watching her yesterday i don't know but um she sits on my lap but she she leans into the corners like a biker does. You know when a biker goes over and they lean into the corner to stop them to counterbalance. She was doing that. And first of all, I thought, oh, it's just a fluke. So I said to Grant, he said, oh, shut up. He said, it's just a fluke. And there's a part of a road which swaps and changes direction. And she's never been up there before. So you couldn't even say, oh, she knows the road because she hasn't been up there before. Yeah. Didn't matter which, every time you changed direction, she'd change position. 
I, I just couldn't believe it. I said to Grant, look at her. She'd be going into the, leaning into all the bent. I said she was definitely a biker chick. She was either a biker or a biker chick. I said in her former life. And she was happy as Larry. Going round these steep corners like. But yeah, it was funny. I said you have to see it to believe it like, bless her. She was quite proud of herself. Because I was going, oh you're such a clever girl. Just looking at me, said, yes, I already know that, Mummy. Why are you telling me that? I already know it. But, yeah, she's so funny. But she's such good company. But we never saw one car the whole time we went round. I mean, that's the first time in over a year that we've been up for a run anywhere, um, apart from when we've had to pick something up. We just went out for a run. And it was just so nice just to go out and see trees and water and nothing else. And wildlife. It was just lovely. Though it was wind, very windy, very wet, and it's very open up there because it's quite high up. But I didn't care. And it was just me and Grant, I called it, what did I call it? Car date. The kids said, well, where are you going? Can we come? I went, nope, we're off on a car date. Pop Pops is coming. That's different. <laughs> I said, we're going on a car date. Yeah, it was really nice. Grant's not a chatter, so we didn't chat an awful lot. But it was just nice being in each other's company. I think he... Oh, he's popped out now. So he hasn't gone to sleep. I just saw his car's gone. He's going to do cauliflower cheese, boil a piece of ham, carrots and peas to the tea tonight. Evening meal. So that's going to be nice. He's going to get pick me up some juice because I've run out of juice for me hot juice. I said, I can't run out of juice. Because I'm trying to drink hot juice in the evenings and cut out tea and coffee. So I've got no caffeine when I go to bed because my sleeping is so poor. I said to Grant last night, I, was, I nearly went and slept in the car last night. Because I said the cat was under the bed snoring. The dog was snoring. Grant was snoring. Then the dog wanted to go out, then she wanted to come in, then she wanted to go outside, and then come in, then the cat wanted to go out, then she wanted to go outside, then the other cat wanted to come in the bedroom, then she wanted to go out half an hour later, and then the other cat wanted to come in. And it just seemed like all night that's all I was doing. It wasn't the fact that it was really windy and wet. I think I'd have gone and slept in the car. I don't know what was on them. They were all, all the animals were restless last night. Usually you might get one, but not all three of them. But all three of them were really restless last night. I said to Grant, maybe an early night tonight. Mind you, I watched... Um, so Millie's get me to watch the Marvel film. So I watched the first Avengers... I really enjoyed that. I'd seen Iron Man 1 and 2. I've seen Thor 1. Um, so Millie got me to watch The Avengers. And then she put on Iron Man 3. So I watched that one night this week. And I must admit I really enjoyed it. But it took me ages to realise it was Guy Pearce that was a bad man. I kept looking at him thinking, I know his face. Why do I know his face? And then it came, neighbours. And I thought, ah, oh, I know. I thought, no, I know it is, but that was really good. So I think she says I've got to watch the next, I think Thor, second Thor one is the next one I've got to watch. But I like Loki. Or is it Loki? Loki. Loki, is it? I you say it. She keeps telling me off because I keep saying them wrong. I don't want him to be a baddie. I like him. There's something about him. He's cheeky, cheeky, chappy. And I like a cheeky, cheeky, chappy. So I'm hoping he's going to become good because I like cheeky cheeky chappies, but I don't know. She won't tell me nothing. I have to watch them and see. And Jessie won't tell me because she hasn't seen them. I think she's started to watch them. So I might watch one of them in a minute. Or I might not. <laughs> I might watch you lot on YouTube. I have to see. So what minutes are we on, guys? Oh, gosh, my back. 
have we hit 40 minutes at least yes so, so what i'll do is i'll leave, love and leave you so you've got the rest of your day to yourselves let me know if you're gonna participate in the old mermaids along and don't forget you do not have to join it you do not have to buy anything i do not expect anybody to buy anything for this mermaid along if you've got no money don't worry about it get a piece of paper and literally do this right tail yeah how does the tail go like that yeah bit of a body a bit of a face Give us some hair, colour it in with some colours. Yeah, we'll bring her hair around her body. Two boots, some shells with straps. There you go. Colour it all in with a bit of colour. I mean, look, I cannot draw at all. But people know that's a mermaid. So, there you go. I do not want anybody to think, oh my God, I can't enter because of. Yes, you can. Because you can do that. That would be an entry. Some, you know, the smallest, tiniest thing, it doesn't matter. It's an entry. You can enter. All right? I just want to see what everybody comes up with. See all the different things. You don't have to enter more than one craft. You can if you want to. But you don't have to. Just participate in or being involved you can join join my mermaid crafts just to have a look at what everybody's doing if you want to that's fine okay i just i'm just doing it so everybody comes together and everybody has a bit of fun that's all all it's for N nothing serious nothing you know that's going to make anybody feel a bit awkward that's the wrong one because look it yeah, so with that, I'm going to say thank you ever so much for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed and you fancy doing it, there's a little button there. Next to it is the notification button that lets you know when I go live, which is on a Sunday. And we have such a laugh. Thank you all. And when I put up a video, which is a minimum of two times a week, but usually more. Also, my social media is down below if you want to have a chat or just leave me a comment down below, which I absolutely love reading and I always have a chat back. My happy mail forms down below because sometimes I send out some happy mail to people that are in my happy mail list. My Patreon links down below if you want to have a nose of what I was talking about before in the video. I'll have an eye up in the top corner, right corner hopefully, to, t to link you to the Anything Mermaid along. And with that said, take care, look after yourselves and most importantly, stay safe. Love you all. Bye. <music>